Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. As always, I'm your host, Saturday Night, and today we continue Operation XCOM to destroy these pesky aliens. In the last episode, we discovered a newfound hero to the operation. A uh, commander, or corporal, I don't know what rank he is, but his, name, his last name is Sanchez. He is just a beast of a man, and I am proud to have him in my ranks, and I will have him in every mission. But, without further ado, let's continue this, shall we? Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. Alright, so I would like to put it, uh, launch it either in Canada or Mexico, just because of panic uh, levels it's the most also its benefits and I'm gonna go for Canada just because it'll give me a hundred uh, credits per month All right yep launch out with this Good. additional satellite in place we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away obviously scan activity satellite coverage. Good. And we got Xenobiology. Fantastic. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror mu Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Actually, I was just there, just saying. But, whatever. Awesome. Uh... I'll leave this for a bit for you guys to read if you want. All right, cool. Let's go. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Yeah, you guys are crazy. Engineering. Whatever. To engineering. Uh, all right, engineering. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. Obviously. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Well, you did agree to it. You did encourage her so it's kind of your fault as well but whatever see i hate i'm starting to regret going for the uh tutorial because i can do what i want to do like this is a terrible place to do the containment facility because i could benefit from the adjacency bonuses of having a satellite uplink here but no i can't choose apparently I'm Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Definitely I'm gonna do a second season of the of XCOM. Possibly with Enemy Within. I'm not entirely sure though. Commander. I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Arc Thrower immediately. 
Was that necessary for you to tell me that? Anyways. Uh, look, when I go to Alien... I can click on Begin pro Project, but it'll bug out the game, which is dumb. So, I'll just go for the arc Commander for to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Okay, Mission Control. Select a mission. Well, there's no mission, though. Uh, come on, yo. Begin project. Okay. Alien material. Okay. Hold on. Didn't you just say... Um, apparently it's researching... Okay, whatever. Uh, go back. Uh, no. Go back. Commander to mission control. Okay. Mission control. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. Was that necessary? I, I, I'm really regretting doing the, the, the tutorial. It looks like that satellite we launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. Scramble the interceptors. Uh, Raven 1. Go for it, bro. You got this. You got this. I have faith in your abilities. <coughs> we have Let's do this. Oh, it's a small one. You got this, bro. Oop, nice. Good show. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Foggy 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Wait, do you have magnify robotic hands? Whatever. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Affirmative. Let's do this. Send Sky Ranger. Good. Corporal Sanchez, you, sir, are staying here. All right. Um. I think this is good. I actually, I want you load out. Uh, I want you with a s a med kit. Yes. Good. Uh, let me clear unit. I wanna double check on something. Ugh. Wait, why are you wounded? I thought you were okay. Hmm. I sense foul play here. Okay, so we're taking in some scrubs. Oh! Yes! You go! Hello, good sir! Can I edit you? Hold on. Customize. Customize. Uh... Let's see. Head. Uh... Yeah, I wish I didn't change that. Oh well. Oh well. But dude, y Hassan Haddad, you are, you're coming in. You're com you're representing me. Anyways, um, no, no, no. Damn it, I hate misclicking. Okay, I want you. I want you to be a sniper, please and thank you. So I'm giving you a scope for now. Okay. Um, you have a grenade. Good. Uh, only one grenade in the team. Is that a good idea, though? I mean, honestly, I don't really want to use any grenades because reasons. Uh, and also, it destroys the weapon fragments. But yeah, I think this is good. Let's do this. And that is very loud. Let's do this. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. 
looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. And why do you hope that? Why don't you just evacuate the civilians? God damn it. Oh my god. This is hell on earth. What the hell? That is a lot of fire. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Okay, so you... I want you to take cover over there. Good, we didn't pop any pods. You, my good sir. Looks like the crash site is dead ahead. We should expect heavy resistance here. There's no telling how many hostiles were on board. Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible. Uh, I mean, we will breach it, obviously. Uh, Sanchez, you go there. Good. And you, you take cover over here, Hassan. All right. Uh, Overwatch. Well, nope. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Good. Nothing. Okay. I'm fine with that. Also. Where is the crash site? Ah, here. Okay. Good. So, unlikely we'll have any- oh, and that's the end of the map. That is a very good map. I'm, I'm liking this. Make it a little bit easier. Good. No sightings whatsoever. Uh, you go here. Good. You follow suit. Good, good, good. Liking this. And you take up their position. Previous position. And everyone overwatches. Good. Hmm. We're not hearing anything, which is a bit odd, considering. Okay, you go here. I've got a visual. Nice. Okay. A pod, two sectoids. Not that hard. We can do this. Uh, you have vision, which is good. 58, 58. Um, take that one. I'm telling you, he is a beast. I, I don't know why he became a heavy. A, a, a heavy. He should be a sniper for all intents and, intents and purposes. Can you? Ooh, that is a terrible shot. But let's do this. Nice. Good show. Good show. You are the man. Uh, can you? Okay. So you go over here. Overwatch. And you. Ooh. That is terrible. Spots. I think I'll. Th Rush you over here? I don't think you'll pop a pod. Hopefully you won't. Good. Ooh, I was a bit worried. Okay, good. The epic music is running, which is a bit scary. Let's go here. Good. Nothing. So you... Well, I'm not overwatching yet. You... Uh, actually, I'm going to bring up everybody here. I don't think we'll see any mutons just yet. So, what I'll do, I'll actually overwatch everybody right now. Oh, I reloaded. Shoot. Well, it's not that a bad, bad of an idea. Okay. Two overwatches would... could be... could suffice. Um... You go here. Open fire. Okay, two sectoids. Not bad, not bad. Could have done worse. Okay, uh, obviously the 58. Go for it. I mean, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not at all, uh, sad about it. Uh, can you get a shot from here? You can't. Well, that means you overwatch. 
Uh, I like this uh, full cover. So you go here. You have a shot, which is good, a 55. Uh, I think you take it. You got it. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, and you, well, you have not very good places, so I'll take you here. Do you have a No, you don't. So, that means, no. Overwatch, okay. One Overwatch, eh, could have been better. Will you move, though? Ooh. Okay, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, that only means, Sanchez, go here. Don't the alien craft is still intact. Okay, good. And they've got some kind of energy field protecting mm -hmm. parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. Uh, you go here. Ah, these are terrible shots. It, it's possibly because he's um, he's uh, okay. Take that shot. It, I mean, it was, it was, no, it was a on. given. I, I kind of thought that would happen. Um, you go here. You have a shot. A 25. Mm. How about a grenade? Nah. I mean, it would, it would have been a, a terrible decision, nonetheless. And there's no, there's one cover over here. I kind of want to come here and flank him. Yeah. Let's do that, because he's obviously not going to move, so I think going for, uh, actually, hunker down. He's not going to move. It's it's too obvious. Um, and you go here and hunker. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. He actually moved, which is surprising. Okay, um, do you have a shot? A 58 this time. Th that's good. Do you have a shot? 55. 45. And a 45. Okay, I... I don't want to move because it'll trigger the overwatch. <coughs> so, nope. Didn't want to do that. Sanchez. You're the most high percentage uh, to get it, so let's try start with you. My man. My man. You are insane. Weapon spent. Weapon spent. Okay. Uh, reload. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, oh. Oh, you, you, you still have an action? Oh, oh yeah, bullet swarm. I'm, uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, reload. Um... You overwatch, and you come here. Okay, whew. I was a bit worried about that decision, but it, it worked out. It worked out. Okay. Uh, overwatch. Good. I think we only have the overseer. Is it its name overseer? I don't know. That diamond. Uh, thing. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Uh, move along here. To withstand an impact like okay. that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. The readings coming from that Come on, are shut like up, nothing Paul. I've ever seen. That looks like the primary oh, power source God. for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. I, I know that. And study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. You have shot. Good. Let's take said shot. You missed. It was a given. <sighs> missed the target. Two, two, uh... Obvious. Uh, do you, does anybody else have a shot? Nope. Okay. Um, actually, hold on. Can you... Uh, hopefully, I don't think I'll have a shot from here. 
Yeah, he doesn't. Okay. So you overwatch. You... Uh... Actually... Let's, 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 let's... Do something cheeky. Let's flank him. Yeah. And you... Come over here. Yeah, let's do something cheeky. Oh shit. No! It's it's Hassan! I can oh he's killed! I can't stabilize him! No! Damn it! Damn it! I'm oh I'm so pissed. Avenger Sanchez. You got this. Get that son of a gun. Yes! Mission accomplished. Incredible. <sighs> it seems to have vanished. Yeah. Uh, that is just depressing. That is just de too depressing. Oh well. Two promotions. We got ourselves a, a support. Which is fantastic. Was he the guy that got the med kit? I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, Sanchez. Shredder rocket. Fire a rocket that causes all enemies, uh, enemy hits to 33% damage from all sources for the next four turns. The rocket's blast is weaker than. Damn it. All sources for the next four turns. The rocket's blast is weaker than a. Standard rockets. Okay, and we have. Suppression can fire a special shot that grants reaction fire at a single target. The target also suffers a 30 uh, a minus 30 aim penalty Hmm They're both really good But We have bullets st swarm so Question if we because we have bullet swarm, can we do suppression after that? I think we can. So, that makes me think that we should go for suppression. And then with our next uh, heavy, we'll go for uh, the other route. All right, good. Support. Just like it sounds. The support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Okay, so we got smoke grenades, which deploy, uh, which confers plus twenty defense to all uh, units, not just allies, and lasts through the enemy turn. Okay, that's good. And Hassan died after one mission, and he also got a kill, which I'm very depressed. But whatever. Okay, so new research available, beam weapons, alien nav computer, and UFO source power. That is pretty good. Pretty good. Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. Don't be negative. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. I mean, you don't have to say goodbye. We're going to be seeing each other more often. Okay, thank you very much. I think that's the end of the tutorial. That, which is good, because I'm getting a bit annoyed about it. And also the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, and be sure to follow me on Twitter, because I say ridiculous things, and it's funny, and I like them a lot. Anyways, uh, again, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.